Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. This will be uh, a video where I go through um, all of my collection in the collection room here. Let me just unlock it, you've got to lock these rooms, got to keep stuff safe. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Secure. Alright, um, I'm not going to be talking the whole way through this video, I just thought I'd do an intro at least where I talk and just uh, say some stuff. Uh, let me just take off my shoes. It's a pretty sunny day, so I'm going to um, lift up this, uh, let some natural light in. That's a bit messy out there, so it's not very picturesque, but I'll fix that later. So, uh, Michael Myers. Um, I'm open up these curtains too. I've got the new desk and uh, the Admiral's chair. Very, very comfy, very swish. Let's put some more light in. Nice day today. Well, lovely morning. It's about 7.30 a.m. Just finished walking Ruby down in the park. It was very quiet and peaceful. No other dogs. And uh, here is how things are looking currently in the collection room. Uh, a bit messy, I've got to tidy up. Before I um, start filming this properly, I am going to move, obviously, things like the glue, the scissors, my glasses, some paints and stuff that I've been working with very recently. Um, but yeah, this is just the natural light. No uh, lights on in the room at the moment. Here's my desk again. You can see I've been... Uh, I use these whenever I'm, you know, changing the poses on my figures. It's best, uh, rather than trying to mess with wrist pegs and stuff I just use these it's so much easier than trying to remove those things with your teeth it's one of these days you're going to be pulling on a wrist peg with your teeth and your teeth are going to go flying out and I was doing a little uh, photography with a rotating base all these now are full of um, different accessories I think that's all hands and um, this one is all different head sculpts there's all different heads in there uh, this is just a very deep one. This is all just general bits and pieces, weapons, uh, other kind of accessories, all kinds of stuff. You can see the Scarecrow's straight jacket there. He's over there. Um, and I don't know if you'd be interested, but um, let me just remind myself what's in this one. Oh, that's all capes, like a drawer full of capes, absolutely full of capes. <laughs> and. Uh, and we've got, I think that's all Batman stuff. All kinds of Batman accessories. Then we've got one shelf uh, just for female accessories, clothing, hands, shoes, all that stuff. And the bottom one is all Joker stuff. Because I've got so many Batman figures, there's a hell of a lot of accessories and quite a few Jokers now. And there's quite a few accessories for them too. So, um, most recent thing I've done, uh, I um, painted the mannequin that this Halloween mask and the whole life-size Michael Myers set up here. Uh, I painted the mannequin's eyes and the surrounding area around his eyes black uh, because I didn't like seeing the mannequin's eyes behind the mask. I thought it just kind of looked a little bit goofy sometimes and I wanted the blackest eyes look. All of the Michael Myers figures uh, tend to have just kind of black inside the mask. Not all of them, the boo face. You can see some eye action on that one. But usually it's just, you know, black void within the mask, just pure evil. Just soulless like a great white shark. <laughs> uh, Travis Bickle is the newest addition. We'll get a good look at him in the uh, next few minutes when I do a proper tour around the room, sort out the lighting, change a few poses. There's my little duster. I do get a little bit sick of getting comments from people whenever I do a video of my collection saying, oh, I don't know how you can stand the dust. I've been collecting and displaying my figures in this kind of way for like a decade or just over a decade and dust has never really been a problem for me, uh, I just, especially in a room like this because I don't live in this room, it's uh, you know a collection room for filming stuff and just displaying my figures so I'm not in here as much as I would be if they were in like a living room or a bedroom or something like that. So uh, you know, I just like to have them out like this, I'm, I'm a fiddler, I like to change the poses quite often and uh, change things up and I don't really like detolfs so I've never gone with that option but here is my little duster that I use really handy um, my buddy Nick gave me a cool little 
um, thing that you squeeze and it shoots a puff of air out as well. That's kind of good for getting like a, a small layer of dust off. But I never let it get that bad, you know. I stay on the case really, and like I say, it's not that bad. I just, you know, give the figures a once over, give the shelves a little once over every now and then. Um, so yeah, don't stress, honestly. I don't know. I wouldn't even be in the game if I was as worried about dust as some of you guys are from the comments I've been getting. Just chill out, don't worry about it. Just enjoy your collection. You only live once, and uh, you know, life is short. You might as well have fun with these things instead of just plastering them behind glass and never even touching them. That's what, you know, some people like to do that, but me personally, I like to get hands on, change up the poses, have some fun with them, enjoy the collection. Um, cool little thing is all of my horror characters now, they all have real metal weapons. Thanks to James Hodds on uh, Facebook. He, uh, he made this real metal machete. Uh, I've got a real metal knife. Is that the one? Or is the... Who's got it? Well, Freddy had real metal blades anyway. Uh, it's about the one good thing Sideshow did do with that Freddy Krueger figure. And um, he did me a knife. I think the Perfect 78 here has the real metal knife. Very nice work by James Hodds. And he also did this meat cleaver that they, you saw before with the Joker as well. That is very cool. Maybe a little bit of blood needs to go on that. He did give me some blood to use. It's not real blood, but, you know, fake blood. Anyway, that's about it. Let's get stuck into the uh, video, and you can just listen to some music, and I'll spend a bit of time on each figure, filming it from all the angles, and you can get a real good look at what I got. All right, enjoy. I am being very thorough in this video. If you've been with me a while on the channel, you'll recognize this as my bedroom. This is my place of dwelling where I slumber. And um, this is where everything used to be in this small little bedroom. It's mad to think. Um, but you've still got a few lingering pieces in here that I just don't really have room for in the collection room right now. I'll alternate and turn things around. I have a loft in the collection room, so I will change things up from time to time. Uh, that's a Papo T-Rex, but you know, it's very much based on the Jurassic Park T-Rex look, which is fantastic. Incredible detail. I think these are made and painted in France. You can find them. Go on eBay, type in Papo, P-A-P-O. Uh, you know, dinosaurs, you've got Velociraptors, T-Rex, all kinds, all kinds of stuff. There's Christopher Reeve Superman uh, from Denny in Australia. Awesome, awesome dude. I hope he's doing well. That was an amazing gift from him way back. A few other little bits and pieces there. There's uh, Frank the Bunny from Donnie Darko. That was a present from Nick. And there's that Tomb Raider figure, which is still same setup as before. Can't change that pose, why would you? Absolutely savage. Custom paintwork by me on that. Really weathered her up. Look at that. Absolutely sick piece. Um, all the alien stuff and a few T2 pieces you've got. Well, just one T2, you've got Arnie up there. There's Ripley, the alien warrior, the big champ, uh, a NECA power loader, uh, I think that's the Kotobuki, a big champ there, there's my dog soldiers, werewolf, absolutely awesome piece, uh, and a few other little bits and pieces which I just haven't decided where they're going to go yet. So there you go, there's <laughs> the Joker laughing his ass off. So yeah, and the uh, Blitzway Tyler Durden, and a few other little bits and pieces. I've even got CCTV now, so there ain't no messing around. If anyone even approaches this place, it's on on candid camera. Uh, another two cameras being fitted today, I think. Uh, one right outside the entrance to the collection room. Another one there is going to be facing out to the back garden. Make sure no fools try anything. And that's right. I've got this place on lockdown. Mm. This is Ruby. She is my little angel. Look at her. Yeah. She always likes to get involved, she always likes to be in the videos. Some of you guys like seeing Ruby, so there's Ruby. Being aloof. Ruby actually has quite the collection herself, you know. She's uh, got a few bits over here, but this is where she keeps her toy collection. <laughs> She's got quite the stash, haven't you, Rubes? Yeah. Uh, here's some other little bits. Got them a long time ago. These are by Sideshow. Got these at CEX when I worked there. They're just. Uh, came in one day, one guy was trading in a whole bunch of DVDs and he brought in a big box set. These were uh, included uh, in all the classic kind of uh, 
monster movies. Obviously, you've got Dracula, the Wolfman, Frankenstein. Really cool detail on these. Really, really nice. And over here, uh, NECA's amazing dog alien figure. I just love that. I hope they make this in one fourth scale. They've done it with the big chap and the alien warrior. It's yet to be uh, known officially whether they're actually going to do this in one fourth scale. But can you imagine that thing? Standing completely upright, it'll be huge. Anyway, let's get down to business.